Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. This said Prince. I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to talk about features of Gemini CLI and how we can utilize the same during test automation. In case you are not aware what is the Gemini CLI, so Gemini CLI is an AI tool introduced by Google which is available for free and is open source. In case you want to understand at low level, you can check out my previous video which I'll be sharing in iAicon. But at high level, with the help of this particular Gemini CLI tool, now we can access Gemini LLM from terminal. So this is what we are going to talk about today, like how we can utilize these features. So without further delay, let me jump onto the discussion, right? So these are the Gemini CLI features. So in order to use these features, we will have to install Gemini CLI in our system using npm command. And then after we will have to start Gemini, right? So these are some of the features. So using about, we can check the version of Gemini CLI. Using auth, we can change the authentication. So during initial setup, we need to provide authentication mechanism like Google account or Google API and uh, Vertex AI, right? But in my case, I have used Google in case you want to change it at data stage. So we can use this particular option that is auth. Then using bug, we can report the bug. Chat is related to chat. We can clear that uh, conversation history we can compress the chat right using editor we can ch change the configuration for editor so for example during using gemini cli whether we want to use external editor so we can configure that part using help we can find out the list of uh, like tools available within G gemini cli mcp is another component mcp stands for model context protocol in case you are not aware what is mcp I have already created a series around same. You can check out the same in iIcon. What is MCP is using MCP, we can provide capability to LLM to connect to external data sources such as Selenium MCP, Playwright MCP or REST MCP servers, right? Memory is to give the context, right? So we can explicitly provide the memory to Gemini CLI and it would be able to remember that particular context. Privacy, this is a privacy notice. Quit is to quit from the Gemini CLI. Stats is to check the statistics. Theme is to change the theme and tools. This gives the list of tools which we can use on our day-to-day -day basis, right? So these are the different options, right? So how we can start it, right? So I'm going to use this particular uh, tool into this particular test engine based framework. So let us quickly discuss about what this particular framework is all about. So this is a Maven project which has pom.xml and have Selenium dependency, test engine dependency. Talking about the folder structure, so it has SRC main Java, where I have kept driver manager, which has a code related to initialization of driver. This is utilities to read the property file. This is uh, constants I have defined. These are pages. I tried following the page object model here. This is test. So if I go inside a login test, so it contain only single uh, login test, right? Which is about launching source demo app, logging with sample credentials, and then verifying inventory page, right? So this is what this particular framework is all about, right? Now, how to start Gemini CLI, right? So we need to simply right click, go to open in and go to explorer. And then after we need to navigate to this particular location, we can right click and click on open in terminal, right? And as soon as this is done, then we'll have to press, we'll have to enter Gemini and click enter, right? As a result, Gemini will be started. So in my case, I have already started. Or let me start actually it is not started okay it will take some time and uh, let us navigate through different features of Gemini CLI okay so Gemini got started it is checking the authentication in my case I have already configured that's why I'm able to authenticate right now in order to check different options right I need to simply enter backslash and we will be able to see the same tools right so in total they are like 16 so using about we can check the version of it right using auth we can change the authentication right but in my case i am okay with login with google right so let us not go into that right so i pressed escape right similarly uh, using bug we can report a bug using chat we can manage the conversation history right, right? using clear we can clear everything okay Using complex, uh, it will compress the context by replacing it with summary. For example, if you will use it, then it will compress, right? And we will see that uh, the tokens count is reduced from some com some amount to low amount, right? So let us see for the same. So 
so chat is is compressed from 1427 to 1789 tokens right then i believe this is a bug it should be reduced in previous try it was reducing but it seems to be a bug to me right so uh then docs so we can check the official documentation if you will press docs then we will be navigated to official documentation of Yamini CLI so you can understand about it using editor we can set the external editor uh, preferences so let me click on this so whatever the editor you will have uh, installed in your system you will be able to see so in my case VS Code is installed so I have chosen VS Code and apply to user settings right so this we can use in case when uh, we are like uh, trying to update something and we want to use external editor right okay then Talking about other options, so using help, we'll, we can uh, get the list of uh, Gemini CLI options, right? So enter to send, control plus enter for new line, right? Up or down, cycle through your prompt history, alt, left, right, right? So these are the different commands that we can use, right? Then after, like if I come back, so this is memory, right? So we can explicitly uh, tell Gemini CLI to remember the context right so it referred to Gemini.md actually right so if you uh, if you take a look at this particular place what I have done is I have created one Gemini.md MD file right so if I'll open it so you will see I have given it a context that this is a test ND framework which contains this and this right and uh, this is how we can execute the test cases so it would be able to remember and it won't forget this particular context right okay so we will have a long-term conversation apart from it we can uh, like ask it to store the like um, context by ourselves as well that is explicitly so for example if i say i am prince automation destination right please let me clear it first it is causing some issue okay please store Pins automation destination as my name, right? So when I will say this, it will store it into another Gemini.md that would be available in the uh, like user directory, right? Wherever this Gemini.md is available. So you see, this is available under users, Pins, Batra, Gemini, right? So Gemini.md, if I'll open it, we will see that particular thing, right? So my name is Prince automation destination this is what it has done so if i ask it right who i am so it would be able to tell me from this particular memory okay so you are prince automation destination okay so this is how it can remember the context as well let us clear it as well right and let us discuss about other options right so using mcp we can list uh uh, the MCP server configured. So as of now, MCP no MCP server is configured, but I'm planning to create a video around same in the next uh, video, right? Okay. Then we can uh, like see memory. This is what we just discussed. Right? Privacy. This will display the privacy notice. Quit to quit the CLI. This will give us the stats. So if I press this, so we can see, right? Then if we will talk about uh, theme, we can change the theme as well. So we. In my case, I have chosen uh, Dracula or default, right? So you can choose any, right? Okay, uh, this is about theme. Then this is a list of tools, right? So whenever we want to perform certain operations with the help of Gemini CLI, so it is going to use these tools, right? So let me show you. So it can read a folder, it can read a file, it, it can search the text, right? It can find the file, it can edit something, write file, web patch, read many files, shell, save memory, Google search, right? So these are the operations that we can utilize while working right so now i have started gemini cli on the framework location right so let us try to use it for the test automation right so what we can do we can read a requirement document and based on that we can ask it to generate the test cases we can ask it to create a file of uh, test cases generated then we can generate the test scripts out of it we can analyze the test results Right, prepare different test automation matrices based on the analyze report and we can extract and read the screenshot information as well right so let us try to perform the same right so uh, what i have done is i have created one requirement txt file for source demo right which is a sample uh, software requirement specification document which i prepared with the help of chat gpt right so what i'm going to do is 
I'm going to generate the test case for login functionality, right? So what I'm going to tell you is, uh, what I'm going to tell it is, please create test cases for login functionality, right? By reading source demo requirement document, right? So it will first of all use read file and based on that it will so you see it has used read file so it is reading this source demo requirements.txt it is an analyzing the requirement and now it will create the test cases as well right so it has generated the test cases Okay, now it is asking, would you like me to store it, right? So for storing, it need to use write file, right? So if you will remember, it has write file functionality as well. So let me allow this. Yes, allow once, right? So as a result, what will happen is it will generate the test cases and export this into CSV. So let us wait for same. So if I go here, we will see that login hyphen test underscore cases has been created, right? So you see the test cases are created, right? Now let us do one thing. Let us ask it, please create test scripts for login functionality only. Or let us be precise, test automation scripts for login functionality only. By reading manual test cases from let us provide this particular file right okay let us see whether it would be able to generate the test cases or not right meaning the test scripts so it is reading this particular file so it is using read file option okay so it has read I have started by creating CSV reader. So it is trying to create CSV reader, right? So let us do this because it is trying to read this test data from CSV itself. So it is going by that approach. So it is now reading form.xml, trying to add uh, maybe CSV reader uh, dependency. So let us allow that as well. Okay, so it is asking me to use this, right? So data-driven test. So let us allow this as well, right? So we can uh, provide the precise details as well. So it is reading a login test now, right? Right, where the actual login test exists, right? Now it is trying to integrate data provider, refactoring test execution, right? So it is now trying to create it, right? So, uh, in case you don't want to get it overridden, so you can simply provide like uh, use the additional, use a different file like login test Gemini, right? I forgot to provide, that's why like it is uh, directly writing into login test. So, you see, I'll modify the login test uh, dot Java. I have content of login page. Now, I'll modify login test dot Java to use, right? So, it is accessing login page as well. So it is now writing uh, writing to login test dot Java, right? So it is asking whether you want me to write this. So let us allow this, right? So uh, now it is asking me to execute, right? So for that purpose, it is going to use shell command, but uh, we are not interested in execution. Let us ignore this and let us go to this particular location now, right? And let us go to SRC test or maybe let us go from terminal right and src test java tests right and login test right so you see it has previously there was only one thing right now it has updated right it has updated based on the input that we have provided so it has covered everything right okay so this is how we can utilize it okay next thing is what i have done is in this particular uh, repository right i have kept one sample extent report right under target so it has extent report so if i'll open it 
you'll be able to see that it contains pass as well as fail. So it has two scenarios as passed and one scenario has failed, right? So let us ask Gemini CLI to read this, right? Please read. So we can provide the file name or we can provide the exact location as well, right? Please read this and summarize. Okay, so it is saying this is an extent report, right, for test execution that run on 12, 12 of April, right, it contains one feature fail, this, right, so it has given this, this much information, right, could you please create uh, matrices like, like uh, parts percentage, fail percentage, right, so we can get this particular support as well based on the report. So it is analyzing a report. So you see, it is giving feature level uh, bifurcation, right? Okay. So it is saying that do you want me to create test automation matrix.md? So this also we can do, but let us escape it, right? So uh, we can see that pass is zero uh, percent, like feature level. Scenario is sixty six percent, and step level ninety six percent. So this is how we can extract the automation matrices as well with the help of this particular tool, right? So. Uh, Apart from it, right, uh, like uh, these are the things that we can utilize in test automation. Uh, yeah, one more thing is screenshot, right? It can read the screenshot as well, right? So I have kept uh, some sample screenshot as well at uh, this particular location, screenshots. So this is embedded 12, right? Okay, which has some error. Okay, we tried logging in with the logout user, right? And uh, we provided password, but it won't be logged in because this is expected, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm simply going to provide this to Gemini CLI. Please read this and summarize. So it is processing image details, meaning it is able to read the image as well. Okay, so it has read it, right? And then it will give us the information what exactly this particular image is, image contains. So this image is a screenshot of Swag Labs login page. It shows failed login attempt per user, locked out user. There are message the pick said face, right? Sorry, this user has been locked out, right? So this is how we can analyze the reports as well with this particular tool, right? So now uh, this is uh, like how we can utilize for test automation, right? So next thing is it cannot read or create docs document and Excel. However, it can generate CSV and it can read CSV as well, which we have utilized. It cannot hit the APIs from here, right? And it cannot interact with the browser, meaning it can open uh, Chrome browser, but it cannot perform launching of application or something as like we do from Selenium. So in order to uh, like put those features into it, we need to integrate with MCP. This is what we are going to cover in the next lecture. We will try to integrate some MCP server with this particular Gemini CLI. So guys, this is what I wanted to cover. Thank you for watching. I would request you to please like, share and subscribe. Thank you once again.